11 properties. DJ. Sure. Um, thank you, Lori. Uh, so uh, this, this subdivision plan application was submitted to our office in November. Um, it's establishing a new parcel uh, as part of the uh, pad that's been graded there uh, along Route 88 um, to uh, house a new commercial development, as I understand it. Uh, I believe there are representatives here from the, uh, from the applicant and their consulting team. So, uh, Chris, do you want to, or, or Keith, do you want to make any comments? Yeah, I think that makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, my name is Keith Higgins with Keystone Survey and my name. tonight um, to propose subdividing um, like one one and a quarter acres out of um, a tax parcel 640-002-00-00-005-004. Yeah. Um, pretty straightforward. We were, uh, received a letter from the township engineer, we addressed, it came in today, so they probably never got a chance to look at it, but we had sent a response letter and a revised plan addressing all their comments and we can work back and forth with them on any uh, necessary uh, revisions after that. But the purpose is, Purpose is to subdivide this out, and I believe the uh, the purpose is the uh, applicant is going to build a car park on that site. And I believe next up is the engineer with the land development plan for, for that site. But here we're just establishing the, the lot line for, for the new park. There was, there was a comment on the engineer's letter about the access easement, but that uh, that driveway for um, tractor supply is actually on my client's property. So my client granted the easement for tractor supply. And there is a uh, shared uh, access agreement between my client and tractor supply. So as Keith mentioned, um, our office prepared a review letter. Um, by the way, this is Trenton Hay from our office. He's one of our younger engineers. He assisted me with uh, doing all of the reviews on this uh, planning commission agenda this evening. Um, Trenton's here on our time and our dime uh, as kind of an educational opportunity. We, as a company, we like to bring uh, young engineers to meetings to get a sense of the forum and meet planning commissions and experience uh you know this component of our of our uh, profession so um thank you for uh allowing us to bring trent along today um so as keith mentioned we did prepare a letter uh, earlier this week december 12th we have some uh, comments relating to the subdivision and as keith mentioned it's this this um Procedurally is in two parts. The first is the subdivision plan, which establishes the lot lines and the parcel. And then the second part is the land development component of it, which involves more than just the subdivision and land development ordinance, um, focusing specifically on the proposed use, which is a commercial car lot. Um, so our office prepared a letter strictly for the subdivision application, which is what we're looking at here. 
some of those items are more procedural uh, in nature. Uh, some of them are a little more technical in terms of components of the plan. So, um, uh, Dennis, or, or, or for the board members, do we want to go one by one down this list? Or uh, we did receive a, a response from from Mr. Higgins and late today. Late yeah, hour. late today, which I believe addressed many of the comments. Um, typically, as these things go, we'll uh, review the revised submission and then. Um, any remaining comments will be summarized in a subsequent Let's take it one by one. Okay. So, uh, first is procedural. We've asked them to provide us evidence of the submission of the application to the County Planning Commission. Um, the second item is a clarification of the um, proprietary interest. I think they had um, potentially the contractor uh, shown on the drawings there, so we're asking for that to be clarified. Item three is a um, is uh, adding the seal to the drawings. Item four is revising the signature block terminology to say planning commission and not planning department. Um, item five uh, discusses easements um, and specifically the easement with the recorded instrument number there. I believe that's the easement in the front of the property, Keith, that yes, is along, shown as 10 feet. Correct. Um, we established this easement um, from a previously uh, recorded subdivision plan. Right. So our ordinance standard is 20 feet um, for those type of utility easements. This is a continuation of the right of way, but it's only shown as 10 feet. So um, that's sort of an administrative item as well. Um, under the general section of our letter, uh, Mr. Higgins referenced it a second ago, but uh, the shared access agreement between um, Weber, um, and I believe Weber owns both the, well, will own both the new parcel and the Correct. residual parcel. Correct. So that's that's just a kind of a future issue. Um, if, if the property ownership were to change hands at some point, it's my understanding that this new parcel relies upon the 30 foot easement, which cuts across the other parcel. So um, we had a similar situation uh, down at the Pittsburgh Powder Coat with Alrama where we needed a shared access agreement, um, even though the, the current owner owns both parcels. If that were to change in the future, that would present a potential issue. Mm -hmm. So um, that's that item. Uh, moving on to page two, um, we're asking for just some continuity or a little more more of a description for that 30 foot easement and how it connects to the um, to the tractor supply easement. So that's, I think Keith has already prepared a response for that. But, um, <coughs> item three under general is again procedural. We're just requesting that the, they revise the uh, uh, the applicant name and the signature on the application so it's reflective of the true applicant and not uh, their consultant. Um, Item number four is a related review. Um, as with all of our uh, subdivisions, we request that uh, Peters Creek Sanitary Authority also be afforded the opportunity to review the plan and provide any comments, especially since this um, you know, it's kind of a land development comment as well, but it uh, constitutes a potential extension to the public sanitary sewer system. Um, any questions so far? Item number five under general is um, dealing with the public dedication for the road right away. Uh, our ordinance is pretty specific for, for uh, roadways in the township. Um, the minimum road right away is 50 feet. So uh, since they're revising this uh, recorded subdivision plan and establishing this new lot, we're suggesting that uh, on their side of the prop, on their side of the road right away, measured from the center line of the road, um, a full 25 feet of uh, road right away uh, be shown as the public dedication there. Um, item six is, I think, a duplicate from uh, item three. So that's, um, I think that's it in terms of the subdivision application. Any questions? I, I have a couple. Sure. If this is the place to ask. So I've addressed most of those comments in my letter. Mm -hmm. um, we, we submitted the application to Washington County yes. uh, November 22nd. I supplied a copy of that. Mm -hmm. um, 
M and C solutions, that was mine. Initially, we had them down as the client, and then the owner's separate uh, Weber properties LLC is the client. So M and C has nothing got to do with this project. They may be the contractor uh, when the project moves forward. So uh, I've revised the plans to remove them off okay. uh, M and C off. Um, of course, we're, you know, I'm the licensor there, I'm the in the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania, and once we go final approval, I'll sign and seal the plans. I don't like having sealed plans floating around until it's approved, and it wouldn't be recorded without my seal anyway. Um, I've updated the, the signature block for Union Township Planning Commission. Um, the easement, we, we can go back and forth, because this is a recorded document, uh, that's where we came with the 10 foot, uh, the, the recorded uh, subdivision plan is, was from the tractor supply, so it's okay. pretty recent. Yeah. So I don't know how they 